got Corona. Woo woo woo. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a little video for you guys. I am basically going to talk about what it's like being in college. But with a little twist because you know, we got Corona. Let me rephrase that. The United States has Corona, but I'm not talking about the school. Anyways. This is basically how I'm surviving college, Corona edition. Before I start, I'm gonna need you to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll wait. All right, let's get into it. Basically, I wrote down like a few notes, pretty much just explaining like some of the stuff that I learned throughout these past few weeks because this is like completely life changing. This is like from one point in my life where I'm at home literally doing nothing every day to coming to college. Like going from working to not working at all and doing schoolwork literally every day. My first note is start packing, I wanna say at least five days before you move in because me, this procrastinator, waited like two days before I was supposed to move in to start packing. And I did not realize that I had so much to pack. Like, I had a lot. We took three cars full of stuff. This is saving the life because when you start packing, you finish one thing, you be like, okay, I'm almost done. Then you realize, oh, I got this, this, and that to pack. Like, I had to pack all my bedding, my clothes, my makeup, my decorations for the room, just all this, all this stuff to go in half of a room, literally, only half of a room. But it's crazy, but I did have a lot to pack, and I did not realize that. So from now on, I am going to pack at least five days in advance because I'm not gonna be stressing about packing no more. My next little tip or whatever is, um, be well rested for moving day because you are going to be in this room for hours trying to unpack everything you got you and your roommate if you have a roommate you're gonna be in this room for hours trying to unpack everything y'all got put everything where it needs to be putting stuff together you know if you got boxes of stuff that you need to put together you gotta figure out how to do that and please have some family or friends or something with you to help you because it's gonna take forever to do by yourself I'm telling you this right now if you come up in here and just drop everything off and leave and your family leave and you literally gotta do this all on your own don't do it I'm, I'm telling you now and then like the day you move in you're gonna be so tired after all that moving in it's just it's ridiculous but you know so make sure you you go to bed and wake up on time and look because you gotta load the car then you got to drive depending on how far the school is it's just it's a lot. My school is an hour and 30 minutes away from home, so I ain't had that bad of a drive at all. So for people who got miles and miles to go, make sure you are real rested. and make sure you are thinking clearly the day you move in so you don't forget anything at home and then you get moving in, you just like, I forget. So yeah, another thing is like, our move in like for the freshmen or whatever we moved in like a week before classes started so with that being said we had a whole week of fun and usually i know for most freshmen that come to the school like under non-covid circumstances they were you know they had this goo week and they got to do all this fun stuff you know the freshmen a week before school started 
us COVID freshmen didn't get that. So me and my friends, we just tried to do as much as we could throughout the week. We just hanged out a lot. We was out to four o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. Oh honey. But I can say for sure that we had fun before the first week of class. So that's all that matters, you know. I swore up and down that I was going to be 100% fine with 8 a.m. classes. I was like, I'm a morning person. I don't got nothing to worry about. I am truly a morning person. I can get up in the morning if I go to bed. But now that I'm on a new sleeping schedule because of my friends, I'm not going to bed until 2 o'clock in the morning every, every day. So literally, I don't wake up until 9 it's not bad, but at the same time, it's just like, I don't be wanting to get up at night, but it's just like, I have, I wake up at night. Me, well, how my schedule was, um, I have, on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, my classes are from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., literally. Um, if, if we were under non-COVID circumstances, that would be an ideal time for me, because, like, from 12 p.m. to the rest of the day, I had to myself, and to study and stuff like that and I would be you know perfectly fine I had to put on some lip gloss because my lips are looking dry anyways I would have the rest of the day myself if it was you know if corona didn't exist so unfortunately corona exists so some of my classes are in zoom meetings and the rest of mine are strictly online so my 8 a.m. class is strictly online so I don't have to get in the zoom meeting but I have a 9 30 this is a meeting and an 11 to 12 this is a meeting on Monday Wednesdays and Fridays but Tuesdays and Thursdays I have no zoom classes so I'm just really just completing assign assignments before the end of the week so we have assignments due by Friday every week and in all my classes and really my only job is to get those assignments done and study literally that's it it's a good i personally think that's a good thing i hated online classes in high school because of the fact that we didn't start off that way so it was just like it threw me completely off guard but like college classes online they're not really that bad to me because we didn't start i didn't start off college in person so this online is my new is my normal for college because it's all I know so with that being said a lot of people told me do not get 8 a.m. classes don't start with the 8 a.m. don't start with early classes but I'm like I'm a morning person I'm gonna get up but I'm gonna get up if I go to sleep on time but now that I'm in college I'm not going to sleep like at the time I usually did when I was at home so I see why to not get 8 a.m. classes. So from now on, I'm probably gonna start my classes from 9 or 10, you know. Lesson learned. My way of keeping up with my assignments is every week I make a list of all the assignments I have due that week. And every time I complete an assignment, I take it off. And it kind of makes me feel better about myself to keep me from being stressed. Like when I write all my assignments down and I just scratch off every assignment that I do, it makes me feel better because I'm like, okay, I'm getting stuff done. I feel productive. It makes me want to do more so I can get it all done. When I get it all done, a girl can have some fun, you know. That's probably really the the best thing to do with the classes but i'm pretty sure y'all do not want to hear hear me just sit and talk about classes like at all so i'm gonna say one more thing regarding classes and then we're gonna get into the fun the good stuff about college that i'm experiencing so far okay my last thing is textbooks when you get here I, I know a lot of my fellow classmates were trying to buy textbooks before we even got to campus. Don't do that. I just say save the money because we all know textbooks are expensive. We all know textbooks cost a lot of money. I say just save the money for the textbooks and wait till you get your syllabus for your classes because I, 
I wouldn't want to buy the wrong thing. I only want to buy what we need. Like my wellness class, I didn't have to buy a book. She sent us a PDF of a book, so we didn't have to buy anything. But like my other classes, I had to actually buy the book, not a physical copy. I had to buy an ebook, like an online book. It was like interactive books. I had to buy those. And those cost like a hundred something or $86. Like they cost money. So I say save your money, but don't try to find your book before you even get your class syllabus because it really ain't no use. I just say make sure you try to buy your book as soon as you get your syllabus because our Barnes and Noble bookstore on campus they are bagged up and it takes them a while to process all these books like access codes and textbooks that we order and we have to pick if we have to pick the book up in the store it takes them a while to process them it took me about two days to get the access codes for two of the books that i bought online and i just got those sent through the email but the first book that i bought i didn't know what i was doing so i did pick up in store so it took them about actually longer to send me an email saying that my stuff was ready than it was for when I got the access code through my email. So then I had to go to the bookstore and when I tell you you have to go to the bookstore early because the lines be long and they take forever in a day just to get through one person. So it's a lot. It's a lot you gotta do. It's It, it can be a lose-lose or a lose I don't know what to tell you, but I just say, just be on it. The, that's really what I can tell you. Be on it. Make sure you know what you need to do and when you need to do it. And don't procrastinate, honey. So now I'm going to talk about dorm life. So basically, over here where we are, in lucky day i live in lucky day um basically we're like a scholarship it's a scholarship hall so everybody in here is on a scholarship we have a class and we just do stuff you know basically to keep our scholarship you know whatever I, i'm not gonna go into too much detail the way our dorms is set up is that everybody you know has we share dorms with another person and then like we have a kitchen on our floor, but we do not have a stove. When I found that out, I was so devastated because when I found out that we had a kitchen on the floor, I was like, okay, I'm finna cook because I like cooking. I'm like, okay, I'm finna cook. We finna, we finna have a jolly good time. Like, but we don't have a stove, so I don't cook at all. But we have ovens. We have two ovens, two microwaves, a sink, and some cabinets, and like some chairs. And then we, so we have a kitchen on each floor. We have a lounge with a bunch of couches in there. And we have a, um, and a laundry room on each floor. So that's good. And then downstairs on the first floor, we have a, um, a base, basically a dumpster room or whatever. We just throw our bags of trash in there. That's a good, I'm grateful for that because some people have to literally walk outside, like in other buildings, they have to walk outside to uh, dump off their trash. So I'm in Lucky Day in Century Park South and the other halls that are in South are um, Van Hall and Scott Hall. Van and Scott are like across from each other. And then at Lucky Day, we have our own little patio. So only, you know, Lucky Day members can get you in you know uh we have more lucky day has multiple bathrooms on each floor we do not have our own bathrooms but like in north century park north i think scott they have their own bathrooms and i think van does I, I i don't know i i don't live there i don't know but i know century park north has their own bathrooms in their room so lucky them they get that i don't whatever but we have multiple bathrooms on each floor, which is not that bad. So if I don't like how one bathroom is working, I can go to another one. So, I mean, that's whatever. I disinfect the bathroom every time I go in there, spray it down, clean it down before I use it every time. So I'm cool with that. Um, 
The only thing I really don't like about the um, the laundry situation, we only have two washers and two dryers. So when I get ready to do laundry and I come up in there and all the washers and dryers are full, but they're done because nobody got their clothes out, we have to send a text like, hey, washer four, I mean, yeah, dryer four, washer four, whatever. <sighs> the washer two and dryer four is done so it was just like you know you you know just gotta make sure you get your stuff out so other people can use it because sometimes i swear i forget my stuff in there too that's so much for dorm life advice about living out here i say make friends on campus please because i don't like going nowhere but myself i don't at all if i want to go to the fresh I'm going to ask somebody to go come with me because I don't want to go anywhere by myself. If I need to go to the pod, I'm going to ask somebody to come with me. I don't want to go by myself. Um, some of the restaurants that are on campus, speaking of the fresh, I'm just going to talk about like some of the restaurants on campus. We got Starbucks, we got Chick-fil-A, we got the Oath Pizza, we got Powerhouse, we got Subway. They're pretty good. Uh, the fresh is the regular cafeteria that's where you swipe your car to go get your it's like a cafeteria go get your food you get as much you want you ain't limited to really any options not like in high school because in high school you was limited to how much you can get and then you had to have a certain thing on your tray and all that other mess and all that jazz but not here it's not like that nine times out of ten though you're probably gonna get you a slice of pizza they got some good sweet tea y'all know that gold peak sweet tea they got that up in there, and it be busting. Mm, I love gold peak. Like this is probably the best sweet tea out the bottle you can drink. Like it's so good. Oh yeah, about the making friends on campus. Make sure you make friends on campus because I don't want. I don't like going nowhere by myself, and I don't have. No, I don't like having nobody with me. Like I just. I just. I just need friends and you also need friends that you don't you can't make moves on your own like you just can't go party and stuff on your own you can't do all that you need to have friends with you and one thing about me and my friends is we don't leave each other at all if we go somewhere we all if one person walking off one girl walking off we all walking off like that's just that that's just girl code this is how we do what we do when we do what we do always giving each other advice always helping each other and don't ask for nothing in return and it's probably like my favorite thing about me and my friends is that we have a mutual like we have respect for each other we have respect for ourselves and we ain't gonna we ain't gonna do all that it's this i'm telling you that's probably the best thing uh don't be cooped up in your room every day like don't you will have the awfulest time in college if you be in your room every single day and don't do nothing you can find friends like literally every day i step foot out of my room i get a new friend so it's always people looking to have fun it's always somebody looking to have some fun it's always somebody looking to have friends like before we got here basically me and my class we got to know each other like group chats and and like big group chats and like we just got to know each other so now that we seeing each other in person so i was like hey 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 and all you of course you're gonna find your own little group of friends but it's always nice to know people you know just see somebody everywhere you go see a familiar face it's it's way better than not knowing nobody and everybody be like i don't need and them people them people that be like i don't need no friends i don't need nobody Yes, you do. Sorry to break it to you. You can't just, I just, I personally feel like you can't just do all this on your own. You're going to need somebody to help you out. You're going to need some, you're going to need some connections and some support and some friends. Like, that's, that's just that on that. Like, and that's all I got to say about it. But, yeah, college life, girl. I'm sitting here talking like I'm talking to a home girl. College life, girl, it's been pretty decent. And like where I'm at in Hattiesburg, it's literally food places everywhere. These food places are running my pockets so dry because it's like from where, where I'm from, we don't have all these options. So it's like coming over here and it's 
this try this restaurant, try this restaurant, try this place, try this place. And I'm just like, oh my god, I'm gonna get fat. Like, I just feel it coming. It's pretty much inevitable. Oh, also we have. Speaking of getting fat, we have a gym on campus. I like that. I used it one time though. Since I've been here, went one time. Anyways, I just wanted to update y'all pretty much on college and how it is. Maybe this is helpful to some of y'all who are thinking of coming to Southern Miss next year. Um, hopefully one day I can do like a little vlog of like a day in the life of a college, me, a day in the life of me in college. And you can see how chaotic my day my day gets. Everything I do is not planned at all, so. <laughs> Maybe y'all can see how what I really mean when I tell y'all all this stuff. Well, that's all I have for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna need you to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget. Uh, make sure you watch my last video. I had a little dorm tour going on. You know what I'm saying? Fame it was good. Anyways, bye, Shotty. See you in the next video.